crazy yet. I don't know. I think I do have a little bit of a fear of heights. <laughs> arrived in Edinburgh last night which I filmed a little bit of I'm honestly not too sure what those clips were it was a four-hour train from London to Edinburgh so by the time we got here walked to our hotel which we're staying in the Waldorf Astoria it is beautiful we walked in literally soaked from walking in the rain and it was just like walking into heaven or something that's the view out of our room but by the time we got into our hotel room chilled for a second it was dinner time so we just ordered room service and had a night in which was really nice the classic travel day night in but it is officially edinburgh day one and i'm so excited to explore we were literally walking from the train station to this hotel my first thoughts was just like this is the most festive place i've ever been to in my entire life which people had told me but i like it's one of those things you'll never really believe or you'll never fully appreciate until you've actually been you know what i'm saying we walked past so many christmas markets and there was just Christmas carols playing like all down the street on these like public speakers. So I'm very excited. Booting up for the day. I think it's going to be very, very cold outside. I have my little Christmas pudding beanie on today, which I've been waiting to whip out. I've been saving it for Edinburgh because I just feel like this is the place. And then I'm gonna do a red scarf. Match with the little red on the top. That's quite cute. I love it. Oh, that matches so well. Plan of attack for today. We honestly don't really have a set plan, I think, because I've never been here before. We just want to walk around and explore. We need food, breakfast to start off with. So I have a few places written down, but we might just honestly walk and see what we stumble across. Definitely want to do Christmas markets. I'm not sure like how long that all, like is that a full day thing? I'm not sure. We're just going to see how the day goes. And I'm very excited to feel festive and merry and bright and <laughs> spread Christmas cheer. <laughs> do you want to try and go to a breakfast place that I've written down or do you want to just try and see what's around? Ooh. We've decided on Urban Angel for breakfast. Looks great. The photos look great. Looks like a classic breakfast. Eggs, toast, avocado, beans, comforting, warming, delicious, cheer, magic. Wow. And joy. That was beautiful. Thank you. Slam poetry. <laughs> <laughs> this hotel is too fancy for us. <laughs> look at the front door. That's magical. Oh my god. <laughs> I love doors like this. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good morning. We just turned the corner out of our hotel and look, a castle. Look at this background. Not real. It's not real. It's actually like walking through a green screen. We walked to Urban Angel, but it was a 45 minute wait. So we were like, let's just walk around the street and see if there's any other cafes we like to look of. And we walked into, what's it called? Do you remember what it's called? This cafe? No. It starts with a H. Hanover 71. It's so festive in here. You can't really see, but there's like Christmas decorations all there. We've just ordered the exact same thing. This is a whopping piece of toast. Like that's the size reference. I want toast with feta with a nice coffee because we're actually very warm. I think we very much um, lay it up. Yeah. I'd very much prefer to be too hot than too cold. So I'm very hungry. So I'm very excited. Oh, the doorbell gives me anxiety. Really? Yeah. So my doorbell sounds like. Oh, great egg. It's a good egg. Oh, okay. It's a hard watch. <laughs> A classic. You had your coffee yet? No, I haven't either. Oh, nice. Back on our ice latte game. <laughs> like I'm actually, I'm just, I'm sweaty. I don't like it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we've done it. <gasps> you okay? Kidding me, it's so cute. We've just stumbled across this little Christmas market square. Everything's just so festive. Yeah, you definitely did as a kid, didn't you? Definitely. Yeah. Did you not? No. Oh. Straight to the, Straight North, to the North, 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 North Pole. Crazy. Like, where do the lights go? Oh, this is so magical. come to Cockburn Street and we're just like going in having a little little bit of a look through the stores and we've 
Who found this one? I actually, I can't remember what it was called. I think it was pink. Myra. Oh, Myra. It's got the cutest little bits in it. Like, why do I want everything? Okay. Look at this book. Isn't that just the most beautiful book you've ever seen? The cutest cards. Like, this makes me want to become a card writer. I really love these coasters and I've been up to some coasters for so long. But I'm like, is that such an unrealistic thing to buy while traveling? Because they're just like heavy. I love them. Jelly cat heaven. <laughs> Look at them! And they're even all over the trees. It's the busiest store on the street. <laughs> Everyone loves them. Yeah. We were just getting a coffee and I was complimented on my beanie. Why have I never received a higher compliment in my life? <laughs> you're a man. Too. I know, he was like, oh, I want to try to do the accent. Love that. No, I've got to do it. We've made it to the Edinburgh Castle. And everyone is just so beautiful here, so we're really just walking around just looking. We've just come back to the hotel room and they've put Billy on the bed. <laughs> where he should be. Oh, I hope you're comfy, King. Five star. Living for him. And truly. I wonder if they were like, oh, he's so cute. He has to be on the bed. We came back to the hotel just to kind of recoup. My camera battery died, so charged that up. Just topped up the old makeup because I was quite literally cry laughing. I don't think I've ever laughed so hard and so much. Like I had tears streaming down my face. We are heading back out to go to some Christmas markets, which I'm so excited about. Yeah. Love the hotel lobby. Oh, I'm coming in. Oh my God. <laughs> I just didn't even think, I just like stepped in. From what I've been told, these are some of the most amazing Christmas markets in the world, I think. So I'm very excited. Oh my gosh. Look at the light show happening on this building. Oh, I just love it here. This is our hotel. This is so magical. We're both quite hungry because we haven't eaten since breakfast. We're gonna try and get some food. I'd love a hot chocolate. What do you think you're feeling food wise? I don't know, but I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm not sure. Something warm? Yeah. I don't know what I don't they're know. Like, I don't know what they're gonna. Yeah, so okay. true. I don't know also how big these markets are. We can always go back tomorrow night if we don't get everything done to tonight. Because I want to really enjoy them. Like, I feel like that's a huge reason why we wanted to come here was for the markets. And I feel like. Obviously, we've only been here for one day, but I feel like we've booked the perfect amount of time here. I don't think one day is enough. Two full days feels like so far the right amount of time. Look at the background. It's so Christmassy. So Christmassy. Oh my gosh, it already looks magical. The light on the castle as well. It's so eerie. We've made it into the Christmas markets. It is hectic in here, there's so much going on. We were overwhelmed by choice of the food. It all looks so good and I've already said we want to come back tomorrow night just so we can eat more food here. I've gone for the plant-based Maxween Huggets. <laughs> I'm definitely not saying that right. But it looks amazing and it has mash and then, I think she said like cranberry ketchup, something like that, beetroot ketchup. Okay. And what have you gone for? Just a good old mac and cheese. Is it good? It is good. Oh, I'm so glad to hear. It looks like the perfect little pot of it. Yeah, I don't know what's on top either, but it's crunchy and yummy. This is. Can't wait to see inside it. Should I like pick it up and eat it, or just kind of like dig it? That's a big bite. It was a big bite. Yeah. <laughs> it's just pastry. My favorite. I love pastry. Oh. oh my God. That is so good. The beetroot thing is really delicious. Oh, this is the most Christmassy thing I've ever done. Oh, the mash is so good. I've had a mash. I want that. Dad, this is the same story mm. that you had. So good, right? Mm. I've decided to do a slide. I just got given these. I think this is mostly for kids, but I saw it and I couldn't say no. The stairs are very scary. Oh, you have a big push there. I just kept so you like, you alone? Yeah. No <laughs> little ones? No. <laughs> Look at you. No, like, I have some speed. I just saw a little pudding hat <laughs> just coming down. I was like, she's coming. Oh, that oh, was that's quite fun. So that's what funny. I was doing. <laughs> there was no cue, so I was like, oh, come on then. Thank you. Can you hear? It's a little bit less than normal. What is it? That's quite nice, actually. <laughs> Why do I love that? They're 10 pounds. 
cute in New York. Like you've got the red scarf. It'd be silly not to. They're so cute. Like of course you look good in them. The red is a great match to the scarf. Red? No, I'm not wearing that. No. No, yeah, no. yeah. That's a moment. Ice skating? Okay, I'm getting them. Found this store dedicated to Christmas houses and villages. Oh, Christmas decorations too. Oh. It's like a Christmas city here. Oh, Christmas. Gosh, it just goes on and on, isn't it? The cutest little knickknacks here. If I had room in my suitcase, I'd be getting everyone Christmas presents here. We're going on the Ferris wheel. Oh, it stops. Oh, there it is. So colourful. Oh my god. Oh, it's nice and toasty in here. Ready? Oh, oh my oh gosh. Oh my gosh. I really thought you moved that. <laughs> Me too. A beautiful view. 50 meters. <gasps> oh, oh my god. Seeing all the lights looks so beautiful. What are you seeing? <laughs> well, oh, that scares me. I'm <laughs> scared. So why are you scared? I don't know. I think I do have a little bit of a fear of <laughs> <laughs> Gripping on. <laughs> I can't look back there. That really scares really? me. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Did you want to come on or did you want to make you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wanted to come okay. on. I like a Ferris wheel. I just. <laughs> <laughs> it's when it rocks back and forth, it just feels like it's going to snap. <laughs> I don't like okay, we're moving. On in my head. Sorry, <laughs> your first ever Ferris wheel. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, okay, yeah, we're going back down. Whoa! <gasps> sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> just my feet. Georgia, you scared me so much. Oh, you're so cool. <laughs> that scared me. Uh, well, that is high. That's what we're doing next. But I'm finding this scary. <laughs> That's you think you'd so actually do it. Yeah, I would. Look at all the lights. It was quite quick, oh, isn't it? Wow, oh, that's magical seeing it from this, this angle. Do we go around again or do we not? I don't know, that was so quick. Um, does not quick, we're stopping. Do you want to swap sides? Okay. Wow! wow. <laughs> How'd you find that? <laughs> it went for so long. I mean, I suppose you get banged for your buck. But I think I'm just realizing as I get older that the heights really scare me. I'm like, oh, sometimes I just feel really, really sick when I when I go up high. Sometimes like my feet just start tingling. And I'm like, I think that's just having a fear of heights. We're about to do this one. My God. I can't look up. This is ground level. That's where we're going. She's working. I'm absolutely not bringing my camera on because I'm not that confident. So, see what I've done. It's quick. It is quick. just spinning around like the top of this castle building is like you're literally right next to it I could have kicked it wow what a thrill wow why was that less scary to me than the ferris wheel I think the ferris wheel just feels more like unsafe for some reason which doesn't make sense I'm literally putting on my like chains on that like a little swing <laughs> That was so much fun. I love stuff like that. Me too. Can you imagine if it starts snowing right now? Please, out of breath. Please give us some snow. Okay. Dessert time. It's so crazy walking around because this is what I've seen on like my Instagram and Pinterest for so long. And then just like in front of my eyes, I'm just in the most Christmassy setting and Christmas market ever. Oh, <laughs> there she is. We just got some donut. I've got some plain cinnamon one. And then Georgia got the Nutella. Oreo, the best donuts we've ever had. <laughs> They're so good. They're so good. They're so fluffy inside. Oh my gosh. Yummy. Oh. How fluffy they are. There we go. It looks so good. Perfectly crunchy on the outside and then soft and fluffy on the inside. It's the crunch, I think. Cinnamon sugar. Top notch. Got myself a little hot chocolate. It's very, very good. Actually, we have my head. Came back after our Christmas markets and our wonder. What are you laughing at? <laughs> 
tell me. I went like this. <laughs> We're back at the hotel now and I've just been editing my vlog from last week. We were proof watching it together. <laughs> <laughs> we were watching this clip of on us <laughs> and we were watching I was editing this <laughs> and I was at and <laughs> Sorry for editing this clip of us. Oh, I've got it, I've got it. We were watching this clip of us on Brighton Beach and realised that it's basically the exact same clip <laughs> as last year. So then we pulled it up and we're just looking at the difference. Wait, let me... <coughs> Look at that. Like a year and a year and a few months difference. The blonde washed me out so much. Wow. Also, like you were literally talking about going blonde like not that long ago. You're like, oh, did I look so much better blonde? I, I like, know. <laughs> you were like, oh, um, let me just pull up some research. <laughs> some research. <resets. laughs> I know. Like, and next time I think about cutting my hair, can you just <laughs> be like, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you glow up, sometimes you glow down, and it's, that's just life, isn't it? <laughs> you just gotta do it. A best friend you can't have both at the same time. No, see, I was popping then. I was not. <laughs> I was slain. Hard. <laughs> Never let me go blonde ever again. Okay, I will try my best, but you're so it's a tough life. one. I know. You know I'm doing it. I'm like, I, I know. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> well, you just do it without telling anyone. Yeah. Oh, shit, shit. That's what I did with Brunette. But I knew you were going to like it. Oh, yeah. yeah you're allowed to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those two people aren't the same. Not at all. <laughs> We're too really good here. Here. Exactly. And she'll get rid of someone if I don't <laughs> We're also saying she's an engaged woman here. She isn't there. Wow. Kind of crazy. Anyway, really been tickling us <laughs> these clips. And the ropes tied around the um, the cat's <laughs> the cat's leg. I feel so bad. Why does that tickle me so much? It's the way he's like. <laughs> <laughs> There's one where you're like reading. <laughs> the real has never made me laugh so much in my life. Like I actually think I've never laughed that hard in my entire life. No. I think I was also maybe just maybe <laughs> maybe just <laughs> maybe just in a bit of a giggly mood, wasn't I? Also, so many people have replied saying, "Oh my gosh, Edinburgh, Edinburgh! If you want any tips um, or like recommendations, let me know." So many Edinburgh friends. Yeah, so many Edinburgh friends. Traveling, having people just like sending recommendations is so helpful. So helpful. Even last week when one of your followers recommended the carols. Yeah. It really made our night. Made our night. And that's happened with so many people. Like, oh my gosh, go to this bookstore, go to this. I'm like, it's literally like having tour guides that know you and your yeah. preferences in so each true. country you go to. Love ya. Love ya. Cowgirls out. Cowgirls? <laughs> 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 We've been saying since high school all day because it's one of the it's a word that's very easy to say in a Scottish accent. Yeah, <laughs> we just been walking up being like space, space girls on three. Ready? Space girls. <laughs> it's so fun to say. But space then we girls. were at breakfast this morning and the lady oh who was gosh, serving yeah. us breakfast was like, <laughs> she like gave us our coffees and then was like. <laughs> It was. It's because like she a said language so barrier quick. for a second. She said it so quick, you girls. And we were like, <laughs> they're just looking in between us. You're eating girls. <laughs> Why is the Scottish accent so fun? I'm so bad at it, but I want to get better. It's so hard to do, but I love hearing it. Yeah, like an English accent, easy mm. to do, I feel. Scottish accent, Scottish accent. I did a good sentence before. You eating girls? Yeah, you did. What it was. I tell you what, because this is the first hotel we've stayed in, I forget how much you can hear people leaving their hotel rooms and every single time, or like knocking. Oh this morning I woke up thinking that housekeeping no. was coming <laughs> in. No, I know, and I was like, oh, I'm ready. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm preparing myself. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's so sorry. No, thank you. Aren't you the souffle that didn't arrive? <laughs> that was a good one. Thank you. She just said it so quick. So quick. You guys in? Yeah, like that's a word. Like you've not just said three words. <laughs> also, we really want to try and find the Christmas tree maze tomorrow. Hey, Billy. Where's it hot? Where's it hot? I thought it would be at the Christmas markets, but it wasn't. <laughs> 
And I need to back wax on a night with back of buble. <laughs> we don't always get what we want. Two strong teas, please, Bella Pronto. Two strong teas, please, Bella Pronto. <laughs> Bella Pronto. Peace, girls. Peace, girls. I think I've. I swear someone just knocked on the door again. I think our friendship at this point is is quoting Wild Child. She's the man. Parent trap. It is. seen better days <laughs> it has put a little bit of a, a little bit of a damp damper stopper in our plans no. you know what i'm trying to say it's not sure if we're gonna ice skate or christmas tree maze fingers crossed i mean i'd love to but if it's just blasting down with rain might not be the most enjoyable thing we've been to some bookstores we've come to stockbridge we just saw on the map because we were like we need somewhere warm and toasty to just like run into because it was so freezing outside and so we found a place on the map called grow urban and it's so cute in here like i love stumbling across little places like this that you just would have never come to it's a plant shop and a coffee shop there's plants everywhere disco balls and it's so warm and toasty in here and i'm very happy you're gonna get a coffee yeah I'm gonna yeah you're gonna get a little treat as well I reckon 3.30 is okay. I saw gingerbread buns and cookies. We might get a little treat and a coffee and just like thaw out in here for a while. Just enjoy a warm, cozy coffee shop. And then, honestly, not too sure what we'll get up to next. There is a couple more bookstores I think we want to check out. And this is definitely like book, bookstore browsing and shopping kind of weather. So we might do that and just see where the day takes us. I mean, it is already 3.30. The sun's going to set in about half now but yeah we might if it's not raining we might venture back to the christmas markets and do some more things there but if it's raining i just don't think it's the thing that looks so good i love the like chunky chocolate oh my god it looks so creamy yes oat milk yeah a little hot chocky yeah oh, that's delicious oh my gosh oh the chunks of chocolate are so mm. good <laughs> I want it so badly. Yeah. Store has a little Christmas section. And look, it's like a little um finger puppet. Finger puppet, yes. Um, only a sixteen dollar um. ornament. <laughs> I love dumpling everything. I love the conversion ring. <laughs> Why is the Aussie dollar so weak? That's my question. Look at the tree. I love it. That's a good little size. But look at all of these felt Christmas products. This one's my favorite. This is literally a sweater with a pudding on it. I'm a, you've got a pudding. I have already got about three pudding decorations on the trip. A mushroom. A little mistletoe. I'd love to get some mistletoe, like fake, to hang up in my house. Yeah. So cute. Favorite, if you had to pick one, what would you pick? The sweater. The sweater, yeah. I think me too. I don't need it. No, we don't need it. Oh, no. No. I don't have a sweater. So you do need it then. Oh, where did you get this from? Edinburgh. Just a cute little plant coffee shop in Edinburgh. Actually, I have. I've not got a Christmas decoration from Edinburgh, and that's been my goal to get one everywhere we've where we go. I love the mushrooms, so cute. But I also love the sweater. This. <laughs> I want all of these. That will be a hundred dollars. <laughs> I don't even know where I'd hang that. that is it's a dark and rainy afternoon. We've decided we're walking back into like the main area of town. 
I'm not actually sure what the main area is, but like around our hotel and like the Christmas markets and everything. There's a few little stores we want to go into around there as well. So I thought we just head over. We're not that hungry, but I think we are going to go to the Christmas markets for dinner because there were so many food stalls yesterday that we wanted to try, but obviously you can only eat so much in a night. I tell you what, Edinburgh is hilly. Like you go on an ATM and a walk and you're puffing. You're going up some hills. I'm really getting my money's worth out of these Ugg boots. I think they're gonna be ruined. You can just hear them squelching. How are you doing? Hi guys. <laughs> the Edinburgh sign. We're currently on the lookout for the Christmas tree maze. We just done a bit of a walk through all the lights in the park. Oh my god. I want the plate. Yeah, the plate's so fun. Look at the beautiful market. Oh, I love it. Guys, I have some very sad news. The Christmas tree maze is not on this year. No wonder we couldn't find it. I was like, am I being stupid? Like, why is this Christmas tree maze so hard to find? Anyway, we walked around everywhere and then I ended up asking someone at like an information desk and they were like, no, it's not on this year. I was like, was there ever, no, he was like, no, there isn't. And I was like, was there ever one? Cause I swear there was one. He's like, yeah, there was one last year, just not this year. I was like, oh, damn it. But it made me feel good that at least we know it was never actually on because I would have been so annoyed if we just couldn't find it. And it was actually here. Look at how Christmassy the street is. Home sweet home. There she goes. <laughs> well, what is going on in here? We've decided to call it a night. <laughs> Look at my umbrella. Don't. Peace group. Yeah, we've decided to call it a night, haven't we? We have. I think we've done a good job today. The weather like took it out. It really did, because we were like, why are we why are we exhausted? Like we have no reason to be. Be scrolls, be scrolls and freak. Yeah, but I think it was just like the weather. It's so busy. I will say something that we've learned today. Pre-book any places that you want to go and eat because we walked around for like over an hour this morning going into so many cafes and they were like, oh, it's like a couple of hours away. Like, do you have a booking? And we were like, we don't have a booking. So, yeah, like I just feel like, well, usually it's like a 20, 30 minute wait or something like that mm -hmm. for breakfast, yeah. But everywhere here, you seemingly have to book for at least on the weekends. So if you are coming to Edinburgh on a weekend, I highly suggest pre-booking all of your breakfast places and lunch and lunches and dinners. We even tried to book for tomorrow and they were all already completely booked out. So is Billy on the bed? Yes. Oh and they've even gave us chocolates. Oh Billy oh, which chocolate did I get? Let's see then. I got gold. No! <laughs> I got the better one. No! <laughs> good to be home. Well, it's good to be in a warm, dry place. That rain was bonkers. It was bonkers. I think I ruined my shoes. Oh no. Uh, it was bound to happen. It's come to the time of day where we sit on the bed and eat chocolate. That's new. The Space Girls are back. The Space Girls are back watching Vlogmas and eating chocolate. I picked this up at Row Urban Cafe, which is like the plant cafe we went to today. It is Scottish Collection Millionaire's Shortbread Chocolate. Sounds pretty fire. <laughs> so I thought we'd do a little taste test for you. Oh, it's like a little... It's a present. It feels bumpy. Oh, it's white chocolate. What the fuck? Oh, it's like top deck vibes. Oh, gooey in the middle. Is that caramel in the inside? Oh my. Oh. Radical. <laughs> what kind of piece do you want? Um, like that? Yeah. What's the crunchy? Good. I think that's the shortbread, maybe. Mm. Okay, ready? Cheers. <laughs> oh. Mm. Going it's on very there. white. It is. Good for me! <laughs> Ooh. I expected Ooh. more shortbread. No, no shortbread. Me neither. I like the caramel. Is there like raisins in yeah. there? Yeah! <laughs> like, yeah! Get it out! Like, if I was starving, I'd eat it, but it's not good enough. It kind of tastes like. I don't know what it tastes <laughs> like. like. When you're like, what's it taste like? I was like, I actually couldn't tell you. Like, I just. My auntie makes a slice like that every Christmas. It looks just like that and it tastes so good. I saw that. I was Coconut like, oh bits gosh. in it? Yeah. That ain't it. <laughs> I kind of enjoy it. Please eat it. I love oats in things. You do. You're a sucker for an oat. Mm. But like, why is there raisins in there? Yeah. And there was like three in my first bite. I was like, <laughs> what's going on? I just finished a galaxy. It was my first ever do you time. Rate? Actually, I do. I think Cabri's better. I mean, I mean, nothing compares. I quite enjoyed, actually. I actually love my galaxy. <gasps> What flavour did you get again? Caramel or something? And that cookie crumble or something. Mmm! That's fire. Should we try it? 
it or like no, you don't open it. We can try it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a little I love trying chocolate. Oh, I'm thirsty. I literally just drank all of that. That's really impressive. Thanks. You want a piece? Oh. Yeah, it's my chocolate. <laughs> I know, but I didn't know you wanted one right now. Yes, please. I'm oh, kind of. This looks good. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> I prefer that to the white chocolate. Mm, I don't know how I like it. Really? That's good. I think the like biscuits make it too like chocolatey. Mm. Well, we, we can just swap chocolate bars then. Well, that's our taste test for tonight. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh, great song. Santa, tell me. I'm not sure if anyone else is like this, but I feel like every trip I go on, I have either like a song or a specific playlist that will always remind me of the trip. A song that comes out like while we're away. Fruit Cake by Sabrina Carpenter came out like, I want to say the week we left and we've just had it whenever we're getting ready. We've got it on repeat and I'm loving it. And I feel like I love when that happens because it just means that whenever I listen to these songs in the future, I'll always think about this trip. I'm just scheduling my Paris and Brighton vlog, which is another 40 minute vlog. What is with me this trip? My last three videos have been over 40 minutes. I'm just trying to figure out a good title. I found it difficult to encapsulate it all into this one small thumbnail and then in the title i'm such a perfectionist with my thumbnails not sure if it's like something you can you would even be able to tell because you might not even take notice of them or you might not think they're even good <laughs> which is fair but i'm such a perfectionist and i feel like some i just can never get right and i feel like that was my paris and brighton one i just i don't know, I don't know. but I played around with it for like six hours, so I just, I can't stare at it any longer. So that's gonna have to do. Um, I'm just trying to work out, what's the time now in Australia? Is it Saturday here? It's 8.30 a.m. in the morning on a Sunday. 5.36.30. Schedule done. It is 10.39 p.m., which is honestly the earliest night we've had in a while. I don't know what's gotten into us this holiday, but we've been going to bed at like actually 1, 1 a.m. Very silly. Okay, that is scheduled. I don't like to work before bed usually because that means that my mind gets very like awake and then I usually find it really hard to get to sleep. But also, I wanted to give you a book update. I am reading currently The Book Club Hotel and I'm enjoying it so much more than I thought I was going to. Like I just, I didn't really walk in with either good or, good or bad expectations, but I'm loving it. It's just such a cozy, feel good Christmas book. I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm 78% through it. We haven't honestly been doing a lot of reading, like tops probably 20 minutes before bed each night. So it's been taking me quite a while to get through, which I feel like normally it wouldn't because I'm really enjoying it. It's not that long of a book. But yeah, almost 80%. So I feel like in the next couple of days, I'll surely finish. I'm very excited. I, I'm just loving it so much. I love all of the characters. I love that we get, it's four perspectives. So it's like about four girls and three of them are friends. And then one of them owns, owns an inn and the three girls go and stay there. So much that happens and like connect between some people. I'm just really enjoying it. I feel like it's like a really, really good, honestly, reminder that everyone is constantly comparing to other people and like everyone always wants what they don't have. The friends, they all are kind of successful in different areas. Some are really, really successful business wise. Some, you know, have a family. Each one of them is like comparing themselves to each other, if that makes sense. And I feel like it's like, it's so reassuring. It's so refreshing to kind of feel like, wow, like I think everyone is just constantly thinking that the grass is greener. Like, oh, I have this, but she has that. And like, that would be amazing and like I lack that and these women are like in their late 30s 40s and I'm just like I think it's just reassuring to know that you're not alone just always comparing yourself to people I don't know I'm very much enjoying it I think the writing style is just very very easy to just binge there's some lines that really like hit me I've been highlighting heaps of lines usually reading before bed gets me gets me sleepy so I'm hoping that just gonna lie back read my Christmassy read. I actually feel like I've never felt more festive in my life than this place in general. Like it is just, if you want to feel festive, come to Edinburgh because it's just like made to be festive. We ended up booking, well, we actually didn't have to book, but we're going to go to breakfast in the hotel tomorrow because we tried to book a bunch of places and they're all already booked. I love a buffet. Me too. Oh my 
gosh, that's very exciting. And then we head off back to London tomorrow, which I'm, I'm sad about, but I do feel like we've had a good amount of time here. Would you say three nights is the perfect time? Yeah, I would, like if today wasn't rainy, I would say yes. Yeah, because we were planning to do a few things today. Yeah, like those things we, we do get time to do, yeah. but like that's not the time's fault, it's the weather's fault. It's the weather's fault, very, very true. I feel like three to four nights would be perfect. Yeah. I'd love to just explore more of Scotland. Yeah, and do more of the UK in general. Next time. Anyway, I'm gonna wash this off and go to bed. We've just come back from buffet breakfast. It was beautiful. This hotel, the way that this hotel is set up for Christmas makes me very, very happy. And like, the decorations here are kind of like my, my inspiration in life for my house to look the same. Buffet breakfast was very good. This is the earliest we've eaten in so long. So it almost feels a bit wrong. Started off with savory, of course, and then moved to cereal. And I don't think I ever have cereal other than a buffet breakfast, but every single time I'm like, this is so yum. But we've packed up and we're just about to check out and then walk to the train station. It's like a 20 minute walk, it's not raining so that's gorgeous for us and then it's about a four hour train journey back to London for a very easy travel day today I've loved our stay in Edinburgh so much it's been so cozy and festive so if you've ever considered coming to Edinburgh or are considering coming I truly couldn't recommend to go. gosh I thought that was someone opening that door I was like check out check out